Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about how we can create isometric render in Enscape for SketchUp. Let's get to work. This is the simple environment at the right side from the Enscape 3.5.6 for SketchUp. And this is the 3D modeling environment which we created with the SketchUp in here. So, I'm going to show you how we can create isometric realistic renders, but lighting is really important in this type of renders because most of the time you have some closed area without any type of GI calculation and most of the time artificial light brightness can be really helpful for you. So, first of all, I'm going to close Enscape in here, click on the uh, SketchUp in this place. Now I want to press Ctrl S, save my file. So I'm going to click on the Enscape object, add some spotlights to my environment. So I'm going to start with this simple spotlight in here. I'm going to click on the load IES profile in this place. You can download multi type of IES profiles below this video, which I upload the link of it. So I'm going to click on the drive D in here and type IES in this place, IES lights in here. And I want to try to use some light IES something can be really smooth in lighting, reflection and shadows. IES number 5 is one of the best IES profiles which you can use in different type of projects. Interior or exterior, it doesn't matter. So click on the 5.IES in here and click on the open in here. Increase luminance intensity as you can and you can see what really happen inside your project. The size of the spotlight will be increased immediately. So click on the uh, 3 points in here, 3 dots. And you can set value for it completely professional. For example, 400 candela per meter is enough. So I'm going to close it in here. Now my IS light generated for me. Click on this IS light in here and move it to some place like that, like this. And now I want to take some multiple copies. So I'm going to move it in here. For example, 100. Start taking my copies each 100 centimeter one copy so i need four copies totally five number of this ies profiles will generate for me i'm going to select it in the sketchup hold shift on my keyboard now i'm going to deselect these unnecessary targets so click on the move option another time move it about maybe 90 centimeter or 100 120 or 200 something like that Click on the uh, control. Now copy activated for you. Take another copy in 100 centimeter, 2x, and finally it is over for us. So I can take it to the 3x like that, and now I have more lights in my environment. First of all, I'm going to select all of these scenes in here. Right click and convert the group in here. Now I need to draw some bigger cube than this one. So I'm going to click on the uh, rectangle in this place. Listen carefully to this part of our job. I need some artificial environment, so I need to generate and create it. For example, 30 meter, 30 meter, sorry, something like this. Now I'm going to select this option in here, move it to the origin point from here. Now I need to centerize it by this square in here so totally it's about 24 i need to type something like that and another one for here to here something like this and now my environment generated for me so click on the uh extrude option in here press ctrl re-extrude it to the underground about 40 centimeter my unit for drawing is centimeter you can change it to the meter or millimeter if you are easy with it so click on the offset in here and try to use some decade number for example 60 centimeter click on the push or pull and i need to push it up a little bit more than other times for example something like this 1400 or maybe 10,000 something like that and now my environment generated for me i can increase it a little bit it doesn't matter so finally i need to create some roof for it so click on the rectangle another time and draw your roof for this artificial environment extrude it about 60 centimeter and convert it to the group in this part 
everything is done for us and now time for the rendering but we don't know how we can do this job so click on the start enscape in here be careful about your lighting your rendering and the process of design because in this type of renders sometimes it can be really heavy performance for your graphic card so maximize enscape in here I'm on the fly mode, you can change it to the walk mode, but in the fly mode you can pass through the surfaces. So I'm going to hold shift W and control and now I can move and walk faster in my environment. Something like this. And you can see this is the environment that we have in here. First of all, I'm going to come back to the uh, SketchUp, click on the paint bucket. I need to change the texture of this artificial environment. So click on the color colors in here or color named it doesn't matter both of them work same go to the downside and use black texture in here something like this don't worry about the color of it all of them will be fixed out i'm going to change the rgb codes in here and come back to the uh enscape you can see what really happened before this tutorial we generate multi-type of IES profiles and you can see the effect of them in your environment and your rendering. So, press F on your keyboard, click on the create view in here. We have numpad keys like 2, 4, 6, 8 or 5 and you can change and switch between different type of angles and views. So, it completely depends on how you want to work with them. In this render, I think some angle like this can be really interesting for me something like that because i need some zoom and field of view something like this my eye is about absolutely 45 degree because we have isometric render so you need to adjust it in your engineering renders or drawings the pitch is about negative 40 i can decrease or increase the pitch option on my camera setting it's completely related to you how you want to set out your camera Unlink visual preset because we don't use any type of ready rendering setting. I want to rename it as the uh, isometric number one, something like that. The x is about 25. Y is my eye height, so I can change it to the 10 or 11. The z is about negative 5. And save some positions is not really important, but Try to use azimuth on the 90 degree and altitude is absolutely negative because we need some super dark environment. 8, negative 8 for the altitude and press create in here. Everything is done for us. I can click on the edit mode another time and you can see what truly happens. So we don't need to edit it. Save frame is on for me. Now I'm going to click on the save frame another time. My output on the full HD. Everything is fine. Come back to the main bar and start our 3D design for this project. First of all, I'm going to click on the field of view, move it to this part and reduce field of view as I can to some angle like this because we need the detail of our interior design about this kid room design lights, chairs, floor and textures or some other things like that. So 56 degree is enough for this project. I can increase exposure in here but right now I don't want to use it. So minimize Enscape in the right side, SketchUp in the left side. Now time for Showtime. So select all of these lights in your SketchUp environment deselect unnecessary surfaces sorry like this deselect them now this is the IES profiles which you have in here I don't like the texture and color of them because color of them are white I need a little bit warm color which can match with my environment so I can select white color and add it to my lights and our screen will be get more white but you can use some warm colors or different type of colors like medium tarqueous, something like this. But I don't suggest it for you, so try to use white color for your lighting. Rename it. RGB code is good. You can adjust it a little bit if you want. And in here, we have some line light in this place. Look at the screen in here. If I click on the uh, Enscape Material Editor in this place, 
I can select Coral Texture, it's the line in here. And if I change it to the self illuminate, it will be relighted for us very simple and easy. Some number about, for example, 4000 candela per meter is enough, or you can decrease it a little bit, something like that. Maybe 700 is enough, but color is naturally good, so I'm going to change it to some different type of color which can make my screen more brighter or special something like blue for example something like this for example increase the power of it to the 1000 something like that and you can see everything is fine for us in the white color you don't need to do anything for more brightness you can click on the uh, this texture in here which you can found it on this file and change the setting of it for example if i decrease the roughness the lighting in the area will be increased for us because it can increase reflection and light power 40 percent is enough close it in here everything is fine now select one of these lights in here and click on the Enscape objects and now increase it manually to see what really happened. As you can see, your screen gets more brighter. So you can set some value, for example, 750 candela and everything is done. Deselected, close group, isometric number one. Let's get for the orange ring. Everything is done for us. Now click on the visual setting. First of all, field of view is done. Now, depth of field. I'm going to turn on the depth of field, turn off the autofocus. And now I can zoom on my target. Very simple and easy, something like that. My main target is the chair design, this table for laptops, and this kid in here. So, 80, 18 meter is my lens distance from the uh, focus and flow target. 10% for the depth of field. Rendering quality is good, but if I increase it to the ultra, I can see better details. If I turn off auto exposure, you can see what really happened. So try to don't use it in this type of projects. You can increase it about 51. Click on the image bar in here. Use auto contrast, especially in this type of projects. Saturation is about 104. Color temperature. If you need warm render, decrease it. If you need cold render, increase it. Very simple. 5600 Kelvin. Saturation can be increased more. 108% is not bad. Motion blur is not really useful. Bloom option. If you want super sharp render, turn it off. And you can see the details more and more than the other times. Vignate is good. Chromatic aberration is good. Don't touch it. Atmosphere is okay. Sun brightness, night sky, all of them are not really important, but shadow sharpness. In the interior designs, most of the time we have some smooth shadows. So turn it off. Very simple and easy. Without any type of questions. Artificial light brightness is about 100. I can increase it to the 120% and you can see what really happened. All IS profiles will be increased at the same period of time. So... 86% is enough, but you can see your screen will be get down. So try to use it on the reset mode. 100 is the normal. Ambient brightness related to the sun direction, so it's not really important. The skybox is not really important, but you can switch it to the clear mode because we don't have any type of GI calculation. Everything is fine. Time for the rendering. Click on the uh, render in here. And I'm going to select desktop and call it isometric number one and press save. It takes a little bit of time and Enscape will generate some super realistic isometric render for you, which you can use it in different type of projects. So it's about 90 and it's over. So if I come back to the desktop, this is the isometric number one render. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time, thanks for your watching, and goodbye.